what up welcome back to my channel my name is Jake Fox and this is the major looks channel today I'm going to be getting into what the accessory essentials I could, is it accessory essentials or essential it's essential accessories that ooh, essential accessories that sounds like a store we're gonna be getting into the essential accessories for androgynous style now I have six I have six essentials however i recommend and i encourage you all to try out a bunch of stuff try out feminine stuff try out masculine stuff bags watches things that i that i do not mention on this list i suggest you try it all because you really are only going to really know what you like if you have seen it on you first things first you need a bossy pair of sunglasses these are some new favorites of mine um these are a bit more on the stylized side, but I'm going to recommend that you go for more classic styles. And that's only because classic styles just don't look good on me. Like I've tried literally, I've tried Wayfarers, I've tried oversized Wayfarers, I've tried Wayfarers with a cat eye, I've tried, you know, a classic rectangle, I've tried, you know, the more oval shape. I've literally tried every single shape of glasses and they just don't look right on me. I don't know what it is, but I found these and I, they're black, um, so they're good for pretty much everyday use, but I feel like they have a bit more of an edge, an edge to them, so whatever I got on, I'ma be looking a little saucy, looking, looking a little drippy, you know what I mean? Brands don't really matter, it's just more about finding a pair that just really looks good on you. Finding a pair that, that fits, finding a pair that has um, that androgynous edge to it. And I would suggest not going too crazy on the actual shape of the glasses, just so that you can wear them more every day. Two, jewelry, but more specifically like link jewelry. So I'm talking Figaro links, uh, curb chains, snake chains, you need a chain. I would also suggest buying necklaces at different lengths. So find kind of like your middle ground length. So I feel like on me, I don't like necklaces to hit lower than like here, to be honest, because I don't really care for how it looks on me. Long necklaces don't look quite right on me. Find the right length for you. A lot of places that sell jewelry will kind of have like a little chart. Um, I'll show one here on the screen, uh, and it shows you basically where each length will sit on your chest. Play with the different lengths and weights of jewelry see what works for you and if you're going to just get one say you want to do a stack say you want to like kind of build up your jewelry collection but you do want to just start off with the absolute basics i would just get one link chain maybe like a curb link chain at maybe like a 16 inch you know i feel like 16 inches is kind of the the middle ground for most people where it's not going to sit too high or too low you could also use a shoelace measure the shoelace and then wrap the shoelace around your neck and then see you know what length you like number three a structured hat anything from a fedora to a wide brim hat to a baseball cap or even a trucker hat because baseball caps um trucker hats do or they can be structured especially with the crown part in that front panel fedoras and like a wide brim hat feels very gentlemanly to me um but that doesn't mean that you have to style it that way but it just kind of gives that kind of um established or astute kind of tone to an outfit even if it's casual and i would say for baseball hats same kind of thing um i love throwing baseball hats on with button-up shirts i feel like it looks very very like new york i feel like it looks very um like the not like 90s woman but also today's man <laughs> like i i like baseball hats specifically structured baseball hats because they give your outfit a more casual tone without taking away from your outfit similar to sneakers like kind of like if you were to wear sneakers with a dress like a, it tones the dress down but it doesn't but in a way that makes the dress still stand out you know same thing with the baseball hat. I feel like if you put it on, it's gonna like dress down what you're wearing, but it's also going to kind of emphasize uh, what you're wearing as well at the same time. Statement rings. Okay, now when I say statement rings, I don't mean big rings. If you like big rings, if you have bigger hands, bigger fingers, go all out, do you? I basically just mean rings that stick out on your hands. If you were to wear, you know, kind of a ring on each finger or rings on multiple fingers, uh, what's gonna be the ring that's gonna catch the people's attention? people's attention first. I think that that's more of what I'm talking about. I always thought I couldn't wear rings because I didn't like my hands. I have all my life I've had to fight hands. And so I thought that 
any rings on me would just look kind of dumb. Um, but I was wrong. So that's why I say like try stuff out and don't be so quick to rule things out because you never really know what's going to end up hitting for you. And so places that I would also recommend for statement rings or really just any type of ring are Vitaly, Serge Denim, Body Double, Modu, Atomic Gold, Maria Black. And I would also suggest Vivian Westwood, even though Vivian Westwood is a bit of a trend right now, I do think that they have some really cool pieces. And I'm going to link all of those down in the description. And by the way, when it comes to jewelry, I wear silver. I pretty much exclusively wear silver. I feel like the one that looks, that almost brings your skin tone out, or the one that looks more complimentary to your skin tone, is the one that you need to go with. Because I, I was wearing gold for a long time, simply because I liked it. But it didn't have that same effect as when you see somebody wearing gold jewelry and it just looks really like rich against their skin. And that's because it just complemented that skin tone a bit better than mine. Silver complements my skin tone a bit more. More specifically, like more of a dusty kind of silver, similar to this or to this. This is from Vitaly. This is also from Vitaly. This is from Missouri, actually. This is from Serge Denim. This is from Modu. This is from, wow, do I really have every brand I just named on? This is from Body Double and this is from Maria Black. Wow. Wow, I didn't even plan that. If you're going to be buying jewelry, just go ahead and just invest a little bit more and, and just buy stainless steel or sterling silver, like 925 silver. It's just gonna last longer. And if you don't like shower with it, take your rings off before you put on hand sanitizer and stuff like that. It's just going to last you a little bit longer. It's gonna, it's way more durable as well, especially stainless steel. I don't suggest going to like H&M or, or um, like an ASOS for jewelry because it's just going to either break or tarnish within a few weeks. Like I'm telling you, if you're spending $10 on a silver ring at H&M, it's going to tarnish or break very soon. And then they also tend to look better when they get beat up. So this is a ring that I've had for probably, so this is a ring I've had for about a year now and I have no idea if you could even see like all the little scratches and dents on it or anything, but because I spent a little bit more on this, it's actually bent too, but because I spent a little bit more on it, it still looks good um, and it still maintained its, its color as well. I know we all want a deal. We all want savings, but, and it's possible to have them, but I just really just think you should just spend a little bit of extra money so that you're not having to spend way more money later trying to replace all the things that you bought masculine and feminine earrings whatever you consider masculine and whatever you consider feminine that's what i'm talking about i would encourage you however to not get the um the dreaded dangly cross earring only because it is extremely played out and there are so many types of earrings that exist in the world made by small businesses that you can find something way more unique way better something that no one else has um, that is just going to speak more to your originality and flair. Also, I say um, look at both what is categorized as men's and then what is categorized as women's earrings because you don't know how things are going to look on you. I tend to lean more towards like women's jewelry because I feel like it just fits my body and my style a bit more. If you think back to like the 90s, I remember men wearing like it's pretty sizable hoop earrings like and I don't mean like a little hoop earring like this I mean like a like a generous a generously sized hoop earring but it's still they still look cool they still had edge it still looked masculine though so that's what I mean when I say like look at everything and see how it looks on you because it could bring out certain features that you didn't know you wanted to bring out and it could just give you a different vibe um, that you than you originally thought that you really wanted for yourself I feel like dangly earrings especially when you have short hair can make you look a, li a little bit more like angular and I feel like it 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 almost like emphasizes a certain sharp points of your face or your head especially when you like turn to the side you turn to the side um this one is actually from a brand new it's not brand new company but it's brand new to me small business company called uh body double they're actually based out here in portland and i like this because when it was small it wasn't like distracting and it 
was different. Like I hadn't seen anything quite like this before. Like I said, I'm gonna link all these places down in the description. And lastly, the most boring one, but it's so necessary because as soon as you need one, you're gonna wish you had one, a good leather belt. A good leather belt that looks good exposed. So I feel like we all have a few belts in our closets right now. They are bursting at the seams hot pocket status. I'm gonna need y'all to get like a good belt, okay? Whether it's brown or black, I'm gonna suggest black, but if you primarily wear brown shoes, cause that's your thing, go ahead, Mr. Rogers, go ahead and get you a nice good brown belt. Something that's not too masculine, mainly because you wanna be able to optimize the amount of outfits that you can wear with it. And if something looks a little too masculine, it may not work for a more formal look or a more dressy look. Even like with belt loops, I, and I, I hate this when it comes to women's pants, but like the belt loops will just randomly be baby as shit. Like they will randomly just be really small. I don't know why. That's why I suggest like having a belt that is like not too big, not too small, not too feminine, not too masculine, but one that does the job and that looks like it is of quality that's going to last you that you can wear with different types of outfits is always going to be a must bonus points if you can find one with a cool buckle nothing too crazy we don't need the light up show with the words going across the belts like we did in the two, 2000s we're done with that we don't need that we can just text each other now so it's okay all right y'all those are all of the accessory essentials no what do we call them? essential accessories yeah, those are all the essential accessories for Andrasha style that I'm going to be going through in this video. I am going to be doing an accessories haul, not a haul, but like showing all my accessories collection um, in the next few weeks. So make sure that you are subscribed, make sure that you like this video and join the family, bro. Join the family, join the Major Looks family and do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. See you soon.